1970 Volkswagen Convertible Maintenance Series. Clip 8. Generator Red Light is on. July 2015. In 2009, prior to performing Restoration Number 2, I put together this book for the kids and grandkids on how to keep the Volkswagen alive after I'm gone. But after I restored the VW in 2012, clip 1 through 44, I decided to continue documenting the various maintenance items I performed. This is clip 8, Generator Red Light is On, of the Maintenance Series. A couple of days ago when I was teaching my grandson to drive my VW, a straight shift automobile, in the church parking lot, my generator red light came on. I asked him to stop immediately and I checked the fan belt, which was okay. So he drove home the very short distance. After a couple of days, I finally got around to checking it out. The light would come on sometime and sometime it would not come on when I increased the RPM of the engine. I began checking it out by tightening all wire to the generator. I then checked all wire to the voltage regulator for tightness. I inspected the generator brushes and they seemed satisfactory. But I could see a lip on the generator armature. But after over 100,000 miles and being 45 years old, it has a right to be worn down a little. Walt, our president of our VW club, offered to turn the armature for me. But I told him, let me check this out first, and then when it got cooler, I would take him up on his offer. I checked my VW spare part box for a bolt regulator. I had a spare bolt regulator that I had purchased exactly four years earlier, so I assume that is when the last bolt regulator failed. This one looks slightly different than the bolt regulator in the car, but the connection were labeled the same. Since all of the connection were labeled the same, I decided to go ahead and install it. I disconnected the battery by removing the cutoff switch key. I made a note where all wires were connected. I then disconnected all wires and removed the voltage regulator. Basically, I followed the voltage regulator installation instruction procedure provided by the manufacturer as shown. I label all wires and terminals. I reconnected the battery by turning the cutoff switch on. I then cranked the car and to my joy the generator light did not come on when I increased the RPM. Hallelujah! Therefore I did not have to polarize the generator as shown on the manufacturer's instruction. I then placed a plastic shield over the voltage regulator in case I should accidentally leave the window down when it rained. I placed a rubber mat over the battery to keep the back seat frame from shortening out on the battery and causing a fire. I then reinstalled the back seat and put my tools up and cleaned up. Then I went to the VW store and purchased a new voltage regulator to place in my VW spare part box. By the way, it looked just like the one I had just installed. The cost was $39.55. The time was approximately two hours. 